What's going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to ECT Vision. My name is Khalid, and this episode is brought to you by ectvision.store. The link will be below in the description box where you can go get you some conservative tees like the one you got there or in the background, which is the shirt that I have on right now, and a few other things. Let's jump right into this. So um, in this video, this is an incident at a Walmart as uh, Syracuse, New York. I think I said that correctly. Um, where the police showed up, um, they were called because a woman was pepper spraying and fighting some people in the Walmart. Um, and then there's another woman that she was um, walking around a Walmart with, um, getting ready to fight some people inside the Walmart. And I believe they were workers. And I, I looks like, you know, let's just get into this video. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to ECT Vision. My name is Khalid, and this episode is brought to you by ectvision.store. Make sure you hit that link up in the description box if you want to support the channel where you can grab a conservative T-shirt like the one right there, plus a few others. Let's jump right into this. In this video, um, we're looking at a Syracuse, New York Walmart incident where two women were pretty much acting a fool inside of the Walmart, where it led to a police officer being suspended for his actions in this incident. But I want you to see what led up to the police officer's actions in this video while these women were acting a fool. So let's just go ahead and jump right into this. Okay, so first of all, I I hate it when I see black people acting like this in public. And we wonder why the crime rate in our community is so high. It's because it's not all black people, but it's people like this, women like this, are the reason why the crime rate in our community is high. Not because they're the ones that's doing it, because I guarantee that these women are going to be raising the boys that become the men that we have to watch our back for when these boys become adults. I, I, I'm just, I, I don't understand. I, I don't understand. Um, we do have an issue in our community with um, this ghetto behavior that you're seeing right here displayed on my screen, but that's not here nor there. Um, I just wanted to point that out that I, it really bothers me to see that. Um, I think we could do a lot better, but you know, obviously we just, we all have that, that group of people in our community that is just a bad representation, but let's go ahead and continue. Right now, harassment. Why she wise? Because they jumped my sister just two days ago. They hurt my sister. They hurt my sister. They just hurt my sister. They just jumped 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 my sister. They
All right. So obviously she ran into some opposition inside of the Walmart and engaged into some fisty cuffs and pepper spray some people. Um, according to police report, she also pepper sprayed children that were with the people she was fighting for apparently jumping her sister. Um, well, let's let's go ahead and continue because it, it gets it gets worse. It this whole situation just get a lot worse. But I just wanted to throw that information out there. My sister is pregnant. My sister is pregnant. What? The other girl got missed. They blind because they east or they white. So you're hurting my arm. Please, please. I'm not. I'm not pulling away. I got people at house I'm not pulling away from you. I'm black. Are they going to jump me? Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. So you will be fine, right? Now she she just said that she been beat by police officers before, so she's not going to do anything. Um I, I, she's not pulling away because she don't want to get beat by the police, but then she goes and say, if you wasn't a police officer, I would beat your ass. And then next thing you know, she's getting ready to act the fool right here. But if she just contradicts herself, this whole video, because her actions at the end of this video just went against everything she said she wasn't going to do. And she also, of course, played the race card. Um, I'm black and, you know, I don't want to get beat by the police, but you, you turn around and act the fool in the end. But let's go ahead and, and take a look at this. Cause she about to act the fool. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. Uh, okay. All right. No, no, my sister is pregnant. Okay. My sister is pregnant. No. no I okay. Stop. My sister is pregnant. She is pregnant. She is pregnant. She is pregnant. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. All right. No, no, my sister is pregnant. So here's the thing that bothers me. Um, she says she's pregnant. And when you're pregnant, you're going to put some extra stress on yourself by fighting the police. And you're also risking um, putting your child in danger that's inside of your stomach because you don't want to put the damn cuffs behind. You don't want to put the cuffs on. You don't want to put your hands behind your back and comply with the police officer which I think that's why she got charged with child endangerment. I'm not sure. It could have been because um, somebody, one, one of them sprayed, pepper sprayed the, the children that were with the people they were um, engaging with. I think I could be wrong, but I would definitely give her a charge for child endangerment for resisting arrest while she's pregnant. I mean, you're under arrest, put your hands behind your back and just go handle your business. You making a situation a lot worse by fighting the police and then pulling a race card. Um, but you but you had the police called on you because you were fighting inside the damn Walmart. But you want to play the fucking race card when the police showed up. But all right, let's continue. Well, what y'all seeing right now is real quick. Um, because she was a resistant arrest, his camera got knocked off. So that's why you see um, blackness right there. Thank you. 
And then, of course, you got these other black people um, in the background jumping up and down, causing an even worse scene because they feel like the cops are doing something wrong. But they had the police called on them for fighting somebody else inside the damn Walmart. Where are these people wet when these, you know what, we're not going to go there. Let's just continue. They 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 sitting up here talking about that's fucked up, but she is literally kicking the police off. She's fighting the police officers. She was trying to kick the the shit that was on the floor at the police officers. Like, I, like I I don't understand people's logic. Like I don't understand people's fucking mindset. Like, do y'all do this? Just to just, just for views on on social media, do you, because I feel like people know that these type of incidents will get taken out of context, and people would just start responding to their comment and giving them views and and likes and shit like that. I mean, th this is I, I don't understand, bro. I, I I don't understand. And then here is here comes the incident. Um, that's that's controversial that that made this go viral in the first place so let, let's continue <laughs> you going to jail now what's up Of course. <laughs> they called him the F word, of course, you know. Of course, that word is cool when the black community use it. But I be damned you use that against the gay person, right? But anyway, um, to be honest, I don't feel bad for this woman at all. I mean, you pretty much did all this shit from the beginning of the video. You first of all, you were getting ready to attack um, Walmart workers, and now you're trying to bite the police officer. First, no, wait a minute. You attacked. You try to attack Walmart workers. You were already acting a fool from the beginning. Then, when your sister gets arrested, you started acting an even worse fool started kicking screaming you kicking merchandise down you're trying to kick merchandise that fell on the floor at the police officer you had to get dragged by your legs because you were kicking and screaming while you were on the ground and then you try to turn around and bite the police officer you pretty much brought that punch on your damn self i don't feel no type of sorry i don't feel no type of bad um this is ridiculous and then, of course, we got the black people in the background saying, take off your badge. Take off your badge. You a bitch. You a F word. I mean, come on, man. Come on. Like, do we really protect? Why, why do we, as black people, why do we defend stupidity that goes on in our community? 
it's almost like you giving white people a reason to say this is how we are. Yes, it, because when I go out and say this isn't how we are, I defend, trust and believe. I always make sure I say everybody, every black person isn't like this, but you guys make it hard for people to believe that when you defend stupidity such as this. I bet a lot of those people that was around recording and saying, you know, putting their two cents into the situation probably has no clue what the hell was going on before they showed up. They just see a police officer interacting with black people and they all of all of they just out of nowhere just assume that the police officers are racist and they're just doing it because they're black you got to be one idiot to just go into a walmart and harass black people in public for no reason especially with today's times but anyway let's move on <laughs> I bet nobody is going to point out the fact that she was in that Walmart acting a damn fool, fighting people's kids and shit. Nobody's going to talk about that, but they're going to call the police uh, the B word and the F word because he punched her in the face for trying to bite him. She was trying to bite him. And I bet the men that's in the background, if she tried to bite them, they would punch her in the face too. But because it's a police officer, you know, they're recording for their social media uh, platforms or social media pages, whatever the hell, just so they can get some likes, just so they can say, see, I've told, I've told you America is racist. These people are ridiculous, man. Um, this video is pretty much over with. Um, I don't think there's much of anything left. Maybe maybe let's just keep going, but it's, it's almost over with. Let's just finish it up. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's it. So that video just hot ass mess. Hot ass mess, y'all. I, I don't know, bro. I, I, I don't know. Um here's my here's my thoughts on this. I'm not going to say it. You guys already know what my what my um, opinion is on the situation. You comply. None of this will happen. Yes, you're going to jail. Yes, you're going to be put in handcuffs. But for the most part, if you comply, none of this would have happened. Um, but unfortunately, we have people in our community who don't understand this. Um, I hate that we defend ghetto BS like this. We don't hold these people accountable. Um, these are the same type of women that raise boys to be the men that we have to watch our back for. It's like I said in the beginning. I mean, I don't understand um, what part of this we don't understand. Um, I, I don't know, y'all. What, do you, what are your thoughts about this? What Did the police officer go too far? I feel like I mean, you were pretty much asking for this. You, you lucky he didn't beat you down when you were kicking and screaming on the ground and kicking stuff at him um, in the first place when he had your sister on the ground. You, you lucky he didn't do it then. Um, but I, I don't feel no no type of sympathy for people like this. Um, I, I don't feel I'm not I don't feel sorry for her at all. 
Um, the police officer, in my opinion, didn't do anything wrong. I mean, yeah, he punched her in the face, but to be honest, I think it was justified. She was acting like an asshole. But anyway, what are your thoughts about this? Drop your comments in the comment box below and make sure you like, share, and subscribe because they, um, if you haven't know, if, if, if you guys don't know, um, deleted my Facebook and my Instagram page. So we're going to be doing a lot more content on YouTube now. So make sure you like, share, and comment on this video and subscribe to the channel, man. And I would appreciate you guys if you support the channel by grabbing you some conservative gear like the one you see right here in the background plus a few others anyway my name is khalid this has been a good episode of ect vision educated conservative talk and i hope to see you guys again soon peace